Oh hi, uh, Vimala Ramsey two second video. Uh, just had just had some. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, just to remember some things. While uh, two or three years ago, while I was emailing, I think even uh, at that time I was phoning phoning tele uh, phoning phoning Vimala Ramsey as well. But mostly it was done by emails. But I remember uh, I told Vimala Ramsey that I suspected him of uh, Parajika, of, of exaggerating, and that was why he sent me the email saying that yes, he was confused and he didn't know, he was just fresh out of Burma and he didn't, he wasn't sure what he should say and what he shouldn't say, and then he acknowledged and he admitted that as part of his confusion, confusion, uh, he said some things which strictly speaking weren't true, which is what I say uh, why he why he shouldn't be a monk because uh, uh, he broke the rule. He claimed to have supernatural powers and uh, to have achieved things which he which he hadn't. <laughs> Excuse me. But I'm making this video because of part of the other monks didn't only say that he was exaggerating about what happened to him in Burma. Uh, they said that actually he was a complete failure in Burma. He was ill. He didn't meditate. He couldn't meditate. Uh, so not only did they say that, well, they said he was lying. Basically, he he was he didn't what he said he experienced. He didn't experience because they they seen him. They they were there. Uh, uh, so when I was discuss, one of the monks who. Uh, told me this. This monk was a monk for uh, about 15 years. So him and I discussed at length uh, this other monk's experience of Vimala Ramsey and he told me that Vimala Ramsey had told him some things which he doubted were true. One of the things he says was that Vimala Ramsey had told him that he was a successful uh, carpenter and I think in California, I'm not sure of the exact location, maybe not California, but that Vimala Ramsey had told my friend that he was a successful builder, building homes, uh, uh, I think wood, I don't know what kind of home, maybe wood, wood structure homes. But Vimala Ramsey and I discussed this, I was honest with Vimala Ramsey and I said, listen, this is what I think, this is what I've been told. So Vimala Ramsey responded by saying, well, yes, this is, I, I hear you, Stephen, but I'll supply you with evidence. I'll send you uh, proof. So the reason I'm posting this video is because I just remembered Vimala Ramsey mysteriously didn't send me the proof that he said he would send me. Uh, I, I seem to remember there was a few things he said that he would do that he didn't do, but one thing I definitely remember is he said, oh, Stephen, I can prove to you I'll send you proof so you know I wasn't lying that I was a, a successful builder. Mysteriously, he didn't send the proof. So I suspect there is a, there's lots of reasons to be cautious about the things that Vimala Ramsey says. He communicates with devils. Sorry, slip up. I apologise for that. Vimala Ramsey, that was a mistake. I, I, I hand on heart, uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, but I'm going to rephrase. Uh, you you claim to communicate with angels. The angels tell you that what you're doing is uh, a complete mirror reflection of uh, your teachings, or a mirror reflection of what Buddha taught. You might be telling the truth. Maybe you are. But if you go to the the psychiatric wards and hospitals, what you're saying could come straight out of the mouth of people that are mentally imbalanced. So. I would, I would just say to people, uh, you know the thing about plan for, hope for the best, but plan for the worst. So I think if we hope for the best with Vimala Ramsey, but plan for the worst, I think there is significant evidence to suggest that Vimala Ramsey uh, is not always telling the truth, or uh, he's uh, he's disingenuous. Some other name you could say, you could be more cruel with with your terminology, but I'll I'll say disingenuous and uh, not always telling the truth. Uh, yeah, so just to, to caution, uh, to suggest caution when dealing with Vimala Ramsey and please don't believe everything that he says because I do accuse him of exaggerate, exaggeration and uh, if
if you look at some what Wimler Ramsey told me he says all my students say all these things about me on videos so I don't say these things it's my students that say them so getting other people to exaggerate for you getting uh, allowing other people to to do your to do your bidding well allowing them to say things and if you if they view you as your teacher and you allow them to say these things it's you're saying them you know like other otherwise all you have to say is don't say don't say these things about me but uh, he's not doing that he's allowing uh, his, his students uh, what his main student posting on YouTube is called uh, begin to see so begin to see is a fanatical follower of uh, Vimla Ramsey I, I've had email corresponding with with him and I think it doesn't matter what Vimla Ramsey does then begin to see will always defend Vimla Ramsey so thank you for watching and uh, okay take care hold on I'm going to turn off take care bye